Whatever you do, try and stay off your back if you can. When we're on our back, all your internal organs crush our breathing pump, the diaphragm, thus making it harder work and heavier breathing. Or worse, and worse still, when we're on our back, almost automatically, automatically our breathing increases because our mouth comes open and the volume of our breathing goes way up. Now, left side's better than your right because your heart is actually on your left-hand side. And when you lie on your left, everything fits together better. Your heart doesn't work as much. Whatever your heart does is what your breathing does. On the right, it hangs slightly, so it works a bit harder. But it doesn't really matter. Left, right, stomach, it doesn't matter. Just try and stay off your back. Second strategy. Third strategy, now. You know, don't you, that people, not you, people, not you, snore louder, not you, snore louder when they're on their back, don't they? Okay? All right. So the third strategy to improve our breathing, to, uh, or to try and get some improvement by reducing our breathing tonight, is to breathe through the organ designed for breathing. Breathe through our nose at night. But this can be a challenge. Because breathing is one of those things that's actually automatic. And we have control over breathe, our breathing when we're thinking about it and when we're awake. But when we're not thinking about our breathing or we're asleep, we don't have control. We breathe the way we've come to breathe over the years, and that's the problem. But what you can do tonight to give yourself a chance of a bit of improvement is get your nose as clear as you can before you go to bed tonight with that exercise. Breathe out. Hold your breath for as long as you can a few times. Keep your mouth closed. Get it as clear as you can. Now, a human breathes between 25,000 and 30,000 times during a 24-hour period, they tell us. It's a lot of breathing, isn't it? Most people like to sleep between four hours and as much as I don't know, 10 or 12 hours. 12? No, oh, that's a bit too much. Eight to 10 hours, maybe even. Now, without doing the mathematics, that's a lot of breathing where you don't have control because you're asleep. And there's a huge difference between gently on your side, breathing through your nose, compared to being on your back hour after hour, <laughs> like this. Okay, hour after hour after hour. <clears throat> and what happens when we breathe at this heavy, high rate is one of the first things that happens is we make a noise. And the noise of someone's breathing when they're asleep, I think, is called snoring. That's what it is, the noise of someone's breathing when they're asleep, yeah? <coughs> now, snoring is often the butt of many jokes. People laugh about snoring. People ring me up and say, oh, I snore the roof off. Oh, I snore like a pig, they say. Ha, ha, ha. But when you can't sleep in the same house with somebody, let alone the same bed, because of the noise of their snoring, it ceases to become a joke very quickly. And we've got people all over the country sleeping in separate rooms with their, to their partners because of the noise of snoring. And people go to extraordinary lengths to try and overcome the snoring. And there are many, many things you can do. But I'll cut to the chase of the two most significant things. The two most serious things are people can have an operation People can have the palate trimmed, the soft palate trimmed. Have you heard of this? Anyone had that operation done? Anyone know anybody that's had it done? Okay, it's not very pleasant. If you put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, it's hard. If you push your tongue further back, it gets a bit floppy. And that's the thing that, that flaps in the breeze when you make that noise, okay? There's a uvula there. It's called lasering, trimming the soft palate. Let me tell you, it's very, very, very painful to get over takes ages to get over it. And you know what? Most people have no improvement at all. And they get very angry. And from the Botaco perspective, it just advances your problems because it takes away some of the resistance to the over-breathing. <coughs> and worse still, what happens is, why do you have a soft palate? Because when you eat and drink, it's got to help it go in the right direction. People have it all trimmed and they've got all these problems when they drink and eat and everything. It's a terrible thing. Don't let anybody convince you to do that. The second thing that you can do is you can get a mandible splint, a mouth device. Anyone heard of this? Anyone got one? Uh, had it suggested, yeah? People had, it, had people heard of this? You heard of this? Okay, a few of you. This is like a mouth guard, top and bottom, moulded to your bite, to your, to your teeth, okay, like a mouth with a hook in between. Now it's moulded to your teeth from a dentist, so we're not talking cheap, we're talking dollars. Dentist, dollars. They sort of go together, don't they? Dentist, dollars. Okay. And um, uh, so we're talking 1,200 bucks, maybe as much as two and a half grand, I've heard. And 
Anyway, they've got a hook in between to lock it together and rubber bands involved. And it's called LJA, Lower Jaw Advancement. You can look through all this stuff up on the web. And what it has when you put it in your mouth, it moves your lower jaw full, advances your lower jaw. Okay? And what that does, by moving the lower jaw forward, it opens up the gap at the back. And so the vibration isn't as bad. So you can get an improvement in the noise of snoring. Okay? But what happens is, if people can use these things, it can, it can reduce the noise of snoring. But what most people do, they get it home, they pay the money, they wear it for a couple of nights, and it's not very comfortable, let me tell you. Like this every night. And they get migraines, they get sore. Okay, so they just don't wear it after a while. So they've done their money. Or they do use it, and they persist and persist. And then it might take six months, might take 12 months, might take two years, but after a while it doesn't work as well. It's starting to make more noise. And the reason is, guess what happens to your jaw with all that pressure and the bands every night? Hour after hour, your jaw actually moves. This is the way orthodontics work, the bands, yeah? And it moves, and so it drops at the back, and so you, you, know, so you know what they do? They crank it up. I've had people that had it adjusted three times. One guy in Sydney did the course with me. He'd had his uh, mandible device adjusted three times. He now spoke with a permanent lisp. And he did potato because he was wondering when his lower jaw was going to hit the steering wheel. I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. When you fix a problem with a, with a um, um, symptomatic treatment, you can cause a new problem, which is worse than the first problem. There's, look, there's only one way to safely overcome snoring. Let me first of all tell you what causes snoring. Here comes rocket science. You ready for rocket science? Snoring is caused by this, the heavy rate of breathing. Breathing heavily causes the noise of snoring. Look, I'll demonstrate. I'm breathing now. Can you hear me? Say no. Okay, watch. Here we go. I made noise, didn't I? And I did it through my nose. Okay? Imagine through your mouth. It's the heavy rate of breathing that causes the noise. Things get in the way. The only way to permanently overcome snoring is to retrain the way your body's come. There's nothing wrong with, with breathing like this. There's nothing wrong with breathing heavily like that, providing it matches your activity. If you're running around the block, running up and down the stairs, you should be breathing hard if you're at the gym. But this is at rest. Now, at night, when you're laying in your bed sleeping, you're not running around the block, are you? You should be breathing gently. But over the years, we've come to breathe, and we breathe this heavy rate. Now, the only way to correct this is... The only way I know is with the Botaco method. The only way anybody knows. In fact, if you go to doctors and specialists say it's impossible to change your breathing, I beg to differ. This guy, Botaco, worked out a way. It takes five sessions over five days. It starts by changing the way you breathe during the day, using your nose, clearing your nose, resetting things. And, you know, that's why we keep his name, this difficult name that I have to spell all the time and pronounce and all that sort of stuff in honour of this gentleman. It changed my life and so many other people's lives. And it takes five days, five sessions and 90 minutes. It starts by changing what you do during the day. The way you breathe during the day carries over to what you do at night. It starts by clearing your nose and breathing through your nose correctly, trying those things at night. And very quickly, we have other techniques to take it even further. And we can get dramatic improvements with snoring. If you snored that loud last night, by tomorrow night, I can have it down to either 30% or just about silent. That's how dramatic an improvement we can get. Now, <laughs> you have to keep applying the method and the thing so it all becomes automatic, but that's how soon we can get some dramatic improvement, naturally. 